What? What should I do? If you run her, tell her how you feel, yes. No, I have said too much. Miss Yuna turns her back on you. Maybe it is better that way. I... I like Yuna's back. She has nice backside, yes? Yeah. No, no, no! These past two years, Yuna has always been looking ahead into the distance. Always her back is to me. I like this Yuna. Even more than the unit that is facing me. In general. The heart of man is complicated. You know what I say. <laughs> we two are born bachelors, yes? Speak for yourself, Shani. Oh. Hi, sweetie. This is my darling, yes? What? When? It is your design of destiny. Me and Robert first design. Oh, stop. Better keep your distance. Wouldn't want to lose a finger or something. Mm, that's my baby. It's like you're talking to a person. Well, of course. After all, this ship is one of the Gold Wings too, you know. Hmm. She's been around longer than me, huh? Me and her met for the first time right after you brought us this calm of yours. I'd caught word that an old airship was at the bottom of the sea, way up in the north. Me and brother made our way through a sea of ice. A fog moved in, so thick, we couldn't tell west from east. On top of that, we were freezing our blitz balls off. Yep, I thought we were done for. Then. It appeared above us, a single gull, flying along out of nowhere, as if it had come to save us, right? We didn't have a lot of options, so me and brother chased after that gull with everything we had left. And, by some stroke of luck, we found this ship nestled within the ice. Winged rescuer. Oh, so that's why we're the Gull Wings. Yeah. Great story, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's in top form as usual. Well, guess I'll go keep Brother company. He's probably the one who needs maintenance around here. Okay. See you later.
We got a message from Besaid a little while ago. Looks like Lulu finally had her baby. Really? Let's go see them. There's a message from Kilika too. Apparently things are getting a little messy. More bickering? Sort of. Now it looks like they're bickering over the fact that all the bickering stopped. Figures. Finally quieted down, huh? Well, I guess your memories are finally safe, Yuna. Yeah. But... I have to learn to be stronger. Even places full of memories. Even a place like this can't last forever. I need to accept that. You want to not care? That's not what I'm saying. Just be yourself. I guess. Yeah, you're right. Perhaps one day, I'll find something more precious. But until that day comes, I want to protect this place. The monkeys can't do it alone. Do you see something? Maybe. Lady Yuna, would you like? <clears throat> Although Vegnagam was constructed during the Machina War, there is no record of it ever being used. One could argue that the coming of Sin made war a secondary concern. But the real reason was that Vegnagan was nothing short of a titanic failure. You see, it was quick to respond to hostility, but lacked the ability to discern friend from foe. A weapon that slaughters indiscriminately would be far too dangerous for actual use in combat. Incidentally, this is why Vegnagan was never considered as a measure to combat sin. Instead, it was locked away under Bavel. Jeez, Gramps, you really know a lot. Where'd you learn all that? Hmm, that would be... That would be... Well... This should explain things. <gasps> Gramps! You're dead? Ah, mortifying, isn't it? Over the years, I managed to completely forget that I am on scent. It was only when I shook your hand, Lady Yuna, that I remembered. Why? 
1,000 years ago, here in Zanakand, I shook the hand of another young lady. A thousand years? It was Len. Correct. It was quite a strange feeling shaking your hand. Two different people from two distant times with exactly the same handshake. You've met a lot of people, huh? Yes, my child. Many meetings and just as many partings. The many people I have known have all journeyed to the far plane, leaving only me behind. It is quite lonely. Gramps? Do forgive me. My memories seem to have a mind of their own. So people really are connected. Ah, but of course. Well, Machen, thank you. I hope we meet again. As do I. It's a boy! You wanna meet him? Yeah! Look at his hands. They're so tiny. What do you think? He's cute, yeah? Good thing he don't look like me. Don't be silly. Look, he's got your mouth. Mm, you think so? What's his name? Uh, uh... <laughs> I think the calm will end before Waka makes up his mind. Well, you better decide soon. No rushing, yeah? Naming my son is my first important decision as a parent. Becoming a good father requires intense emotional preparation, yeah? How long are you planning on preparing? Until, uh, my preparations are done, yeah? Oh.
Has Waka settled on a name for his kid? No, not yet. Never could make up his mind. I have something here. I'd like you to give it to him. It's a memory of a war buddy. I give it to him myself, but... You understand. All aboard! We'll be setting sail shortly. See, he gets it. Sorry. Hey. 
Next time we meet, let's blitz, yeah? Yeah. Show us that shot again sometime. <laughs> Slackers to the very end. What's the matter? I thought I'd go say goodbye to Becklam. He's already gone. Oh. He gave me this sphere. For me? Hey, let's see. Hey, Waka. Remember that time? Nah, you probably forgot. Something I told you back when we were kids, yeah? There's a sphere on the island, I said. Showing mom and dad. I lied. Truth is, there's no such sphere. I'm sorry. <laughs> back then, you'd lecture me no matter what I did. Someone has to keep you in line, yeah? I guess I was kind of bitter. That's why I made up that story about the sphere. You got time to take pictures, you got time to pray. Especially since you're joining the Crusaders. Enough with the preaching. Someone has to keep you in line with our parents not around. Knock it off with the surrogate parent thing and give us both a break. I just need you to be my brother. His brother, yeah. I don't know why he just couldn't come out and say it. Anyways, you guys stay in the village till nightfall at least, yeah? around the fire. <clears throat> well, you probably know why I called you all here, huh? I'd like to introduce the newest member of Besaid Village. <laughs> we already met him. Say, you picked a name yet? <laughs> Don't tell me this is a brainstorming session. Like I do something like that. I chose a name. His name is Vedina. Everybody, take good care of him, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Congrats. 
<laughs> I always try to cram myself into some kind of mold, you know? A blitzer, or a guardian, or a follower of Yevon, and now a father. I always get so wound up about what I should be. But you know, in the end, I'm just me. Anyway, I can't keep coming up with new wakas all the time, eh? So it looks like I'll just have to start doing things my way. That's the way I'll write our story. <laughs> Hang in there, Dad. Sin was nothing compared to diaper changing, huh? Sorry it took me so long to decide on a name, Lou. It's all right. I knew it would be worth the wait. I had faith. You? Had faith in me? Waka, we're in this together. Whether you see it or not, I really do rely on you. <laughs> Guess I'd better not drop the ball, yeah? You won't. They're in their own little world. Come on. Let's not bother them. 